eliminate these words. They are dragging you and your book down. What's up writers? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maua and today I'm going to be talking about words you should consider cutting out of your vocabulary because these words are passive voices. Yes, passive voices are big. No, no. So, I'm going to give you five of examples and the words you should consider cutting them out or be very careful when using them. These words are that, was, which, while, and felt. I'm going to give you examples of each and one of them, how you can use it, how you can remove it, how to be careful with it, and how you can make it sound even better. I'm going to start with the word while. Now, I read this sentence once. In a book I actually read and I was like there's so many wrong things in this in this whole sentence grammatically passive voice everything was mixed up together and it just did not sound good now this it was like this of course why I asked while trying to raise my one eyebrow like her now there's so many grammatically wrong thing with that and there's passive voice mixed in a mixture so no don't don't do it like that instead write it as follows of course why you can you can already see why is a question there's a question mark before that quotation closing so you don't have to write the word i asked again because why is already a question so remove that I asked instead and just write of course why I tried raising my eyebrow the way she does past tense so you should not mix tenses as well make sure it always if you're writing a past tense then make sure it's always a past tense of course why I tried raising my eyebrow the way she does number two that that is also another form of passive word and I'm gonna give you an example of how you should not write it. Uh, you should not write it despite his broken leg he knew that he needed to get out of there despite his broken leg he knew that he needed to get out of there see that word that there you need to remove it despite his broken leg he knew he needed to get out of there. So always grab those opportunities to remove those passive words, right? Despite his broken leg, he knew he needed to get out of there. That is gone. And that's good. It was much better now. Number three, words. I don't want to go. I picked up my teacup, which was on top of the table, and took a seat. I don't want to go. I picked up my teacup which was on top of the table and took a sip. There's two passive voices over there and both of them need to be eliminated immediately. Instead, write it like this. I don't want to go. I picked up my teacup from the table and took a sip. I don't want to go. I picked up my teacup from the table and took a sip number four which i talked about it already on the other on the the third uh, point but i'm gonna talk about it more here which i took the cup which was inside the cabinet i took the cup which was inside the cabinet instead you can write it like this i took the cup from the cabinet eliminate the word each which i took the cup from the cabinet number five and last one for today is felt now i'm gonna talk a little bit more about this word because if for example you're writing in the first person's point of view it takes away that feel of um 
personality i don't know if if, if that makes sense straight away it takes away the personal point of view is you know we're not going to be feeling very personal with you anymore because you took us away from there so don't use the word part instead just use something else for example i felt his hand grazing the back of my neck i felt his hand grazing the back of my neck now the word part there should not be there because it takes away the, the personal feel to it right so instead of writing it like that write it as follows his hand grazed the back of my neck his hand grazed the back of my neck nice simple and clear no passive voices not taking us away from the personal feeling no felt word right right all right you guys thank you very much for watching i hope those words will be helpful to you and you will know when to take them out or how to use them to your advantage without sounding like an amateur thank you guys for watching please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch out for the next video bye bye